Me too. My permission slip is signed and I'm clear to fly. Sex said, here I come. <laughs> Finally, a class that teaches me something I can actually apply in my life. <laughs> I just want to know if I'm doing anything wrong. Have you guys heard the news? The sex ed teacher had a nervous breakdown. <sighs> Great. That class is about the only reason I'm still in high school. Oh, they're not canceling the class. Really? How are they going to find another teacher on such short notice? They already have. The new sex ed teacher is... Mr. Smithy. But a principal can't teach a class, especially sex ed. It was the only choice they had. If you hadn't noticed, qualified sex ed teachers aren't exactly roaming the halls of high schools. At least not since they started doing background checks. Well, if they wanted someone qualified to teach you guys about sex, they should have just asked me. Yeah, but then the class would have ended prematurely. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mr. Smithy and all. I'm just saying it could be kind of weird. I don't know what you're all so upset about. I mean, it's just a stupid old sex education class anyhow. What's eating Cindy? Aaron? Beats me. I'm gonna go see if she's okay. Wait a second. Mr. Smithy's not even married. What makes him qualified to teach us the proper way to procreate? Yeah, for realsies. I bet Mr. Smithy has never even had sex. <laughs> what was that steal? Cindy, you okay? I'm okay as I can be. I mean, for a girl who's never gonna be allowed back in this classroom again. Never be back in this classroom? Cindy, what are you talking about? It's my parents. They refused to sign my sex ed permission slip. And tomorrow, you're all gonna be in here laughing and learning and gobbling down ginormous piles of sexual information, but not me. Erin. I'm never gonna learn about sex. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Mr. Smithy. I didn't see you standing there. I guess not. Wow, look at the time. I better hit the books. I wanna be ready for anything in class tomorrow. So, Mr. Smithy, we were just talking. Are you really teaching sex ed? <laughs> you got it. And let me tell you boys something. You better do your homework. If you bleed, you can breed. Oh, sex blows. Cindy, what are you doing? Okay, Aaron. Oh, it's my parents. They're making me start this dumb club. As if missing the class weren't bad enough. Sex blows. Bummer city. Just Look, wait. Cindy, I've been thinking about what your parents said. Yeah? And. They said that you weren't allowed to take the class. They never said that you weren't allowed to learn about sex. What are you saying? I'm saying everything's gonna work out. After every class, I'm gonna come over to your house and I'm gonna teach you sex. Starting tonight. Hey, hey people, Pinson, quiet, Pinson. quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. Oh, Mr. Jones, nice of you to join us. Now, if you wanna understand sex, these are some of the most important words you'll ever hear. But first, I want to open up the floor to some questions. Anyone? Uh, what's Luke. the difference between the vulva and the vagina? Dag nabbit, I wish this part was in our textbook. Relax, you're doing so good. I just don't understand where the shame and humiliation happen. Okay, I think that it's right after the foreplay, but it's right before the apologies. And I just feel like I'm leaving something out right in the middle. Wait, 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 you didn't say anything about apologies. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Smithy said sex always comes with tons of apologies. Well, from the boy or the girl? He didn't say, but I definitely got the idea it was him. Wow, you're right. This stuff is tricky. I wish there were a different way we could learn this. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Smithy said sometimes we should use examples. Oh, I like that idea. Now, how would examples work? Well, for example, if you and I were to have sex. Yes. Go on. 
And if he did it right, his buddy won't be eating solid foods for a week. Now, for the quiz, I want you to remember that we chose this position because both of these dolls are due. Mr. Smithy? Yes, sir. Uh, don't forget, you promised you'd save some time for me to show the class my extra credit project? Oh, right, the DVD. Okay, I guess we'll all explore group sex tomorrow. Okay, Lou, let's see what you got. I'm proud to present my sex ed project, Lou Thomas, starring in the world premiere of Me, Myself, and Me. Uh, Lou, exactly what are we looking at? Well, that's my elbow. Sorry about the framing. I didn't have anyone to operate the camera. And exactly what are you doing? I'm masturbating. Well, what's the stopwatch for? Timing. It's, it's kind of a training video. And the egg timer? I was cooking soft boiled eggs. Uh, okay then. My name is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. I'm Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Um, would you like to see my front butt? Cindy, use the word that we learned. Would you like to see my clit cl 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 clitoris? To see my clitoris. Very good, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. Thank you. Very nice, Cindy. Would you like to see my clitoris? Oh, yes. Thank you. Wow, she's a beaut. Why, thank you. Can you turn around? Oh, yes. Oh, that's so nice right there. Oh, Aaron, say my name. Cindy. Oh, say it again. Cindy. Oh, Aaron, oh, Cindy. yes, huh? huh? Cindy. Oh, yeah. I stopped. Oh, right, yeah. Me too. Yeah, so, um, I've been thinking. Maybe we should put our stuffed animals aside and try some role playing ourselves. No. No? No, um, I don't, I mean, I, I don't think we should, you know, jump ahead like that. Oh, well, it's okay, Aaron. I mean, I'm ready. Aren't you? It's not that. It's just that I got a super challenging vocab test tomorrow. It's over 100 words. I gotta go home and study. I just need it for spring break, because, you know, I get lonely. Yeah. Well, one's the master, the other one's Settle down, people, people. Okay, Class, settle down, settle down. I want everyone to say hi to our special guest speaker today, Leaky. Hi, hi Miss Leaky. It's just Leaky. Anyhow. Leaky's gonna give us some tips from her experience in professional sex industry. But first. <laughs> but first, uh, everyone seemed to enjoy Lou's video so much that I thought I'd bring in one of my instant classics that I think you'll find interesting. what there is to talk about. I mean, obviously, you and I just don't make good study partners. You can't catch clap with your hands. Look, I'm sorry. I'm ashamed of the way I behaved. I just, I, I get nervous, I guess. Well, I get nervous, too. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. And you did apologize. And I felt ashamed. Humiliation, apology. According to Mr. Smithy, we're doing everything right. <laughs> Listen to my mouth. I don't care what your crazy parents say. There's something that I have to do, and I want you with me. All right, it gets a little advanced at this point. Maybe we'd better save the tiki segment for next semester. Mr. Smithy, there's something I'd like to say. Okay, Aaron, but can't it wait till after class? Absolutely not. Speaker. This is way too important. And I want everybody to hear it. Since Mr. Smithy started teaching us all about sex, I know there's been a lot of confusion. But we did learn the difference between the vulva and the vagina. That's right, Lou, and they can never take that away from us. But I learned something even more important. I learned that we all need to have as much sex as we can while we're young, no matter what. Because when we get old, sex is only going to get more complicated. And apparently, 
somewhat unpleasant. So be responsible or abstinent. Either way, wear a condom all the time. Masturbation's good. It's healthy, but it's shameful, of course. And one last thing. Don't go getting AIDS. Coming up on the Restless Bell. You want to keep your wrist movement steady with a grip that's firm, yet reassuring. If your wrist begins to tire, it's okay to switch hands. Front office, there's been a terrible collating accident. Three people are dead. They can't find Mr. Smithy. 